Hello, and welcome back to Astronomy News with the Cosmic Companion. This week, we're going to learn about the first space hurricane ever spotted. We're also going to visit two very different exoplanets that may look strangely familiar to fans of Star Wars. One of these is thought to be a lava world, while the other may be largely covered in volcanoes. A space hurricane was recently spotted for the first time, forming in the upper reaches of the Earth's atmosphere. These features have previously been theorized, although they were never seen before now. This space hurricane seen by four satellites in 2014 formed high over the North Pole where it developed several arms and lasted about eight hours before dissipating. Hurricanes have previously been spotted on Mars, but those were near the surface similar to the terrestrial tempest seen here on Earth. A newly discovered exoplanet, Glyso 486b, may be covered in rivers of lava, a new study finds. This world might also hold on to an intriguing atmosphere which swells in the heat, easing observations of this alien atmosphere. This planet sits just 26 light years from Earth, making Gliese 486 a neighboring star system to our own. In other hot news from the world of exoplanets, the planet LHS 3844b might be a volcano world similar to Mustafar from the Star Wars universe. This world is the first exoplanet where astronomers have found evidence for plate tectonics, the process which guides much of the geology on Earth, including long networks of volcanoes. This planet, slightly larger than Earth, has one side that forever faces its sun, reaching temperatures of up to 800 degrees Celsius, or nearly 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot. Looking deep into the universe, we see backwards in time. And the oldest light in the universe holds secrets to how everything around us will, one day, end. Meanwhile, stars, planets, and galaxies dance in an intricate ballet, occasionally giving birth to life. We are a fledgling species, just beginning to visit other worlds. We are a way for the universe to understand itself. The Cosmic Companion strives to bring the universe down to Earth. And we depend on your help to make it happen. For information on subscriptions and ways to donate to this program, please visit thecosmiccompanion.net. Thank you. Next week, where we will be joined by Neil deGrasse Tyson talking about his new book, Cosmic Queries, as well as Alien Intelligence, The Drive for Science, Carl Sagan, and a whole lot more. Here's a clip of that interview. But suppose there's an alien species vastly more intelligent than we are. They would laugh at our pretensions right. that we are somehow achieved some level of knowledge and inquiry about the universe. When it's just, we're, when maybe we're just sort of you know, touching the elephant in a different part, having no idea that there's an elephant standing in the middle, and it's completely obvious to this other species that's vastly more intelligent than we are. So I don't want to, if we're the only intelligent species Earth ever had, what kind of a, in, by, by our measures, you know, philosophy, art, you know, music, right? Then what measure is that? It's, it's, it's a data point of one. So I'd rather stay open to the possibility that we're blithering, drooling idiots in the presence of some other intelligence out there, and that we think we're on top of things, and in fact, we're not. Join us next week on Astronomy News with the Cosmic Companion, starting March 16th, 
to see the whole interview with Neil deGrasse Tyson. On March 23rd, we're going to talk with physicist Dr. Lawrence Krauss, author of The Physics of Star Trek. Fascinating. We'll discuss his new book, The Physics of Climate Change. So subscribe or follow today and never miss an episode. Join us each week on Astronomy News with the Cosmic Companion as we bring space and astronomy news together with groundbreaking scientists directly to listeners and viewers around the globe. Subscribers to our VIP newsletter see every episode of this show a day before the general public. We depend on support from viewers just like you. For ways to help support this program, including VIP subscriptions, please visit thecosmiccompanion.net forward slash support. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and keep your wonder alive. If you enjoyed this episode of Astronomy News with the Cosmic Companion, please download and share the episode on YouTube, Facebook video, or on any major podcast provider. For more details on space and astronomy news, please visit thecosmiccompanion.com or thecosmiccompanion.net.